I feel like I need to discuss the elephant in the room that are my bangs. Of course I fell asleep during the Oscars. It's really coming down. But they are. It is, it is so good, but it's kind of driving me crazy. Uh, good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to do a reading vlog. We'll see if this actually gets posted on YouTube, but um, I've never, I've never vlogged before, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, and uh, so, yes, so a reading vlog. Um, I am, these, I am reading A Place for Us and I would like to finish it today. I just have read a very little bit in Founding Brothers, so I will read more in that today. But my number one goal is to finish A Place for Us uh, by Fatima Farheen Mirza. And then I have been listening to an audiobook. It is, it is so good, but it's kind of driving me crazy because you know something has happened, but you don't know what it is. And the longer they're keeping me in suspense, I'm now getting a little irritated. Um, it's the audiobook of The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. And I, I, I'm really enjoying it, but I, I am getting irritated because they keep, they keep letting you know something really big happened. At least that's how I feel. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe nothing big happens, but I feel like they're setting me up for something. And, and they've been setting me up from, you know, page one. And I probably listened to maybe four hours or so of it, which I forget how long the audiobook is. I'll, I'll put it in here, maybe 10 or 12 hours. But anyway, um, I may uh, I may go into town today. And if I do, of course, I'll listen to that. And I have a few household chores to do. So I'll listen to the audiobook during that. But basically, I'm pretty, my husband is out of town at work this weekend. So I'm pretty much going to read like all day today and all day tomorrow. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Okay, before I do that, I feel like I need to discuss the elephant in the room that are my bangs. So, so I went to a new person yesterday because the lady who normally does my hair um, was already booked. And so um, with the new person yesterday, I said, please, please help, help fix my bangs. And um, I, I did them myself and they're a wreck. I said, and I like them a bit shorter. So she took that a little far. They're really short. I feel like I'm like 10 years old again. Having a little bow in my hair probably is not helping me look any older. Not that I want to look old, but I don't want to look like a child's haircut either. Anyway, um, my bangs grow so fast. So I'll only look weird for like probably the next two or three videos. I mean, weird in that way. I just, I needed to explain before we went any further. Okay, I'm on page 228 out of uh, 382. So I'm a good ways through the book. And people, I have heard nothing but good things about this book. So maybe it's just more of a reflection of the mood I'm in. But it's, I should have finished this book in like two nights. And I started reading this five days ago. <laughs> Something that's kind of bugging me is the timeline it keeps going back and forth. I mean, a million books go do that. Like that seems to be what everyone does nowadays. And it, I don't remember ever being irked by it or irritated by it. Maybe I'm just irritable. Didn't I just talk about being irritated about the, <laughs> the audiobook? <laughs> so maybe this is more about me than you, uh, a place for us. But like with the timeline, there's nothing to indicate. You get no heads up that you're going to switch time. You you just, you get it from the context of what you're reading. And it's not like it's going back to one time and then forward to another and back to the same time. It's, it's different times. Like it starts in, you know, the present and then you go back to when the kids were really young or you go back to when the kids were teenagers or young adults. And then you go back to when they were kids. Like you're constantly jumping the timeline. And I'm, I'm wondering if maybe that's what isn't 
why I'm not running through this book like I usually run through this kind of book. But I don't want to be negative about it because I can. This is a good book, and um, I do. I care about the characters. I have high hopes. Like I feel like I'll let you know. But I feel like by the end, I'm going to say yes, yes, beautiful. That's my hope. So don't take this as too negative. Uh, because I, I really feel like it's going to come through at the end and make it all worth it. Okay, back to reading. Okay, I am just through the preface so far in Founding Brothers by Joseph J. Ellis, but I thought I'd pop in here just really quick, like the first chapter is The Duel. So for all of you Hamilton musical fans, you should get this book because it starts off with the Hamilton Burr drama that is such an interesting part of American history when the vice president shoots the former uh, treasurer secretary. Um, but what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to put my headphones in. I'm going to go downstairs and do a couple chores. I need to wash the capels. I need to clean the countertops. Um, and I'm going to listen to the unlikely pilgrimage of Harry Fry while I get a few chores down and done. And I'm going to take you guys downstairs with me. Is really coming down now so I'm not gonna head out all right it is near my bedtime it's 9 12 p.m. and I just finished a place for us I don't think I can even talk about it yet <laughs> I'm gonna go wash up wash my face brush my teeth go to bed and I'll uh, pop on here tomorrow and maybe be able to put some thoughts together. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> so I didn't film yesterday and that's because I read all day up until the Oscars and then I watched the Oscars. Of course I fell asleep during the Oscars, but um, uh, it was a very, other than like in the early morning when I had gotten up at 4.30 and uh, worked out like first thing, other than that, I, it was just kind of a reading day, which was my plan. So I'm, I'm not at all complaining. That's exactly what I wanted. But I told you I would talk to you about a place for us. I finished this on Saturday night. Okay, so in this very spot, I was, I was, um, I was a bit conflicted because I knew this was a good story, but I wasn't running through it like I normally run through a book like this. Let me just say the end section of this book, which is called Part Four, begins um, on page three hundred three. Uh, I raced through it that this, I mean, I, I knew, I, well, I felt strongly, I think I even said it, I felt strongly this was going to end in such a way that I was going to feel like this whole book with its jumping, um, oh, Henry, don't hit the camera, with its jumping, um, timeline that I was going to read the end and the end was going to make it all worth it. And it incredibly did it the end that that last that whole last section I I have so many things highlighted in that section it was beautiful it was freaking beautiful and while I haven't officially given it a star rating yet I almost feel just because of this end section 
I can't give it anything but a five. I was talking to my husband last night. He's out of town. And I said, I really need to like come up with a rating philosophy. He goes, yeah, because you don't want to become five star Susan. And I'm like, exactly. Like, who's going to listen to me if I have so many five star books? But I can't not. The, the end. The end. It was so good. Okay. So there's that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give it five stars. Here's the crazy thing. So while I was reading this, I often will have, you know, a paperback or hardback book or Kindle book going while I have an audio book going. And um, this one, I had The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. We're just gonna call it Harold <laughs> for the rest of today. This book I had on audio and ebook from the library. So I started it on audio and to read these two together, not literally at the same time, but you know what I mean. You're going back and forth between the two, which I don't, um, I don't mind if one of them's audio. I don't do that with, like I wouldn't have two fiction books I'm reading at the same time. I could have a nonfiction and a fiction book that are, you know, paper books. But um, if it's an audio book, I don't mind having two fiction going at the same time. So that's what I was doing. And you would not think that these two books are like excellent companion reads, but they are. I mean, you think on the surface, they couldn't be more different. And in many ways they are. This is a Indian Muslim family living in California and navigating the, you know, the first and second generation navigating how they're going to proceed with their life, you know, the traditions, what they're going to, what the children want to keep and what they want to change and, and how the parents deal with that. And this is extremely British. <laughs> Harold, I mean, he and his wife couldn't get more British, but some of the themes in these two books, they just go together so well. This one ripped me up, especially the end when you're the that part four I'm talking about is mainly from the father's point of view which he he's like a character you're looking at through the book and then that part four he's the character you're hearing his voice in this one I was delighted from the beginning but it also was very poignant it was very touching it was um like it makes your heart like it's very tender. Uh, you're you're. I was I was um. I was concerned, <laughs> and I think I said I was getting a little frustrated because you know something happens. I mean, in all books you know that, but like in a lot of books where there's something like usually, at least the way I'm thinking in books, you're not you're not knowing from the first page there's something and then you don't really find out till like the end of the book what it is. Like usually there are different epiphanies throughout the book. Whereas this one held the same mysteries, um, kind of two mysteries through the whole book. Maybe three. Okay, I'm, I need to focus. <laughs> I feel like they're both five stars. I'll make a commitment tonight. <laughs> You'll see it in the wrap up, like what, where I landed on that. But if you go by the Goodreads rating system, five stars, I think is, it's amazing. And four stars was like, uh, very good. And then three stars was, I like it. And I can't not say these two books were amazing. I don't want to become five star Susan, but I also want to give credit where credit is due. Okay, I've decided right now, it's official. They're both five stars. That's how much they touched me. Yeah. Okay, so um, today I'm just wrapping up this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. I know I'm really new to this and so anyone who does actually make it to the end, I thank you so much. Like, <laughs> I appreciate it. I really, really do. But I hope everyone has a wonderful 
reading week. I'll see you guys. I'll have this posted this week and then I'll see you guys again next week with a new video. Thank you. Bye.